Hey there, in this quick and dirty video, I want to show you how you can implement the very famous 12 week year productivity system inside of my very favorite note taking app, noteplan.co. So let's get started. A special shout out to Bill who requested this video. And in this video, we're going to cover exactly what is this 12 week year system that I'm talking about and how to implement it in the noteplan.co software, which again is my very favorite note taking software. The 12 week year is a time management system that was made famous in a book uh, some years ago. And noteplan.co is a Mac native application that's also recently been available on the web, also runs on iOS, that helps you take notes during the day and implement sort of an electronic bullet journaling system. What's unique about NotePlan is that it actually has some features that are directly relevant to the 12 week year planning system. Now the 12 week year concept, if you're not that familiar with it, is simply that you can do as much in 12 weeks as most people do in a year by really focusing on a quarter at a time. The idea goes that a year is really too far for humans to plan for and actually be productive. If you're thinking about something that doesn't need to be done until December and it's February, that seems really far off. But if you're thinking about something that needs to be done five or six or eight weeks from now, you can really get focused on that and get things done in a really productive manner. And what's great about this whole system is it kind of eliminates this question, what should I work on today? You never have to worry about that because you've planned out 12 weeks, you know what needs to be done this week, and so you know what you need to do today to easily accomplish the things that need to be done in a week. That's a really simple explanation for what's really an excellent book. I'm not doing it justice here, and I really recommend that you go get the book off of Amazon. Audiobook is also great. So the system basically that you need to follow is you define your quarterly goals. And in the note plan system, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, you'll there's actually a quarterly note that lives forever inside of note plan. You can have one actual note for each quarter and you can define your quarterly goals there. You can even modify them as the quarter goes along, which is what I do. And you can use the calendaring system inside of note plan because note plan is a calendar based note taking software to actually plan out your 12 weeks. Then what you do is you use the weekly note in note plan to figure out what you're going to do in this week to actually execute your 12 week goals. And then in a similar fashion, you use the daily notes in note plan to break it down into the few tasks you need to do today so that you can meet your goals for the week. So you can meet your goals for the quarter. It's a really nice structured flow down system that ensures that every day you're working on the few things that need to be done in order to meet your goals that are a mere 12 weeks away. So the, the thing that this system really answers is what should I be doing today? So usually the night before, every night, I'll sit down, I'll look at how my day went, and I will take account of the things that I got done, what I didn't get done, and how that looks compared to what I set out to do for the week. Remember, for this week, I've got some goals. I need to do some things to get my quarter, my 12-week year plan executed. So I'll have an evaluation of my day. And literally, this can take a matter of seconds or a few minutes just to see how things went. And then I'll make a plan for tomorrow. And I'll basically, I'll ask myself the simple question, what do I need to do tomorrow? What are the two or three or four things that I, act, that I absolutely need to get done tomorrow in support of my weekly goals? And I'll make that part of my plan on tomorrow's daily note. Then... What I'll do is throughout the day, I'll refer back to that note. I'll take notes. If I'm in a meeting, I may jot down some things. If I collect some information, I'll add to that daily note. It's like a bullet journal for me during the day. And then at the end of the day, I'll repeat that process. And again, what this eliminates is any indecision about what I need to be working on when I start my day, because the night before I've listed the two or three or four things that I really need to make sure get done. 
And, you know, throughout the day, other things will come up that I need to get done. I might need to get milk at the grocery store or I might need to pay a bill or something might come up. An email might come in that I need to follow up on. I'll add that to note plan as well, but it'll be in a separate section, as you'll see here in a minute, from the must do task for the day. And then after I do that week over week and as the as the weeks go by, I'll keep my quarterly plan up to date. I'll review that periodically as part of my weekly review at the end of the week. When it gets to the end of the week, I'll ask myself, how did I do this week? I may be able to check off my weekly tasks that I was supposed to do, but oftentimes I won't have gotten everything done. I can update my quarterly plan to reflect that, get ready for the next week, and then the, the process repeats the next week. So given this as a way, let's take a look at my actual note plan instance and let's see what we're really, really talking about here. So here we are in note plan. I've got my key goals for fourth quarter. And as you can see, I've got about, I don't know, five goals listed in here of things that I'm actually working on. These are actual projects in my business that I'm working on and are my goals for the quarter. And one of the cool features of note plan which is Markdown based, by the way. I, you don't have to use Markdown, but I love the fact that it's Markdown underneath is you can expand and collapse these goals as you need to. So I've set my quarterly goals. They're specific to me. Yours will be completely different, obviously. And you can see over here, I can switch the view to the weekly view. And you can see for this week, I've got some big goals that I'm trying to get accomplished this week. And they're born from these details of each of these quarterly goals. In fact, if you look at this weekly goal, one of the super cool features of note plan is I don't even need to switch back and forth. I can actually pop this down right inside the document. The weekly notes actually inherit the quarterly notes. And similarly, the daily notes inherit the weekly notes. This was actually work that I got done on Sunday. If you look at today, you can see I've got a lot of stuff I need to do today and I'm working through these issues and things as the day goes along. And so that's how I manage my system. Now, note plan itself has a lot of really cool features and I won't go through all of them, but I'll just show you a couple of cool things. Let's say when I'm working on this podcast episode, I know I want to do that at nine o'clock and I'm going to make an appointment with myself. I can just drag this over to the calendar and add something called a time block. For those of you that are familiar with time blocking, and suddenly you can see that now this is not only scheduled in my to-do list from 8 to 9 a.m., but it actually appears on my calendar. This shows up in my iOS device and on my Mac and actually throws a reminder to me when 8 a.m. gets here to make sure that I do that. Let's say that that doesn't happen and I need to move it at 10. No problem. I can move this at all updates in iOS and everywhere. That's one really cool feature. Another really cool feature is let's say that uh, I don't get my passport taken care of today. I need to go ahead and do that next Wednesday. I can drag that over to next Wednesday and drop it there. And I can either move it there or schedule there. I won't go through all the details with you. Let's just move it there uh, as an example. Then when I go to this day, which already has a template in place, you can see there it is file passport update. So when I go to do my daily plan, I'll see that this has been drug over and I will be able to take care of it. And because this is a markdown based tool with lots of cool markdown like features like backlinking, you can do cool things like you can schedule this for tomorrow and it'll show on this note that that's been rescheduled to tomorrow. And when you go to tomorrow, you can see that task has been added here, which when we got to tomorrow, we would just drag that down into our tasks just like that. And the cool thing is that this backlink is here. So you can go back and forth between these two tasks in a way that makes intuitive sense. If I'm here on this day and I want to see the day this was rescheduled to, I just click on it and it's right there. You can see that I've already scheduled at seven o'clock in the morning. I need to send in my football picks to my buddy, Matt, to make sure I get my games picked. So that's the big idea between combining note plan with the 12 week, week year methodology. Some best practices here, make sure you're breaking down your 12 week goals, just like it describes in the 12 week year system. 
Make sure you're doing your weekly reviews every week so that you're clear on the key big rocks that you need to put in your bucket each week to hit your goal. Make sure that you're leveraging templates in NotePlan. That's something that we didn't really talk about, but one of the cool features is Note of NotePlan, you notice that all my daily notes had the same format. Uh, same thing with my weekly notes. They have the same format, and that's because NotePlan has this idea of templating, which is super powerful, so you're not doing the same thing over and over again. And then the other thing I'll tell you is be sure and celebrate your wins. You know, each day when you check those things off, and especially at the end of the week when you reach those goals, be sure you're celebrating that. This gives you a nice record of all that so you can look at it, see the things that you accomplished, and feel good about the progress you're making. I hope you enjoyed this. If you've got questions around this, there's a, God, it's just so many uh, things to talk about inside of NotePlan. Be sure and leave a comment below and I'll try to answer any questions that you might have. Take care. Late night internet.